Now to CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer, who says Mayor Adams is vowing to reevaluate the deployment of police officers on the subway. He says the tragic violence is a major setback in convincing people to come back to their offices in the city. In a city where optics are often everything, Mayor Adams took the subway to City Hall after an Upper Manhattan news conference. It was the day after that Goldman Sachs employee was murdered in cold blood on the Q train. Is this symbolic to show people that it's safe? No, it's, it's substantive. That you know that this is a mayor that is on the subway system because I'm not going to tell New Yorkers to do something that I'm not going to do because real leaders lead from the front. Whether substantive or symbolic, the mayor's subway ride comes at a time when crime on the rails was apparently starting to turn a corner. Although overall subway crime is up over 57 percent since Adams took office on January 1st, it was up only 8.9 percent in the week that ended yesterday. And despite the April 12th Sunset Park subway shooting, ridership was starting to inch up. It topped 3.6 million last Wednesday, 61 percent of its pre pandemic totals. MGA head Janet Lieber calling the murder. It's an incredible setback for everybody's effort to put New York back on normal footing. Which is why the mayor, who paid his fare and pointedly put on a mask, says he's going to reassess the steps he's already taken to put more cops on the subways to see if anything else can be done. After all, he did start his public life as a transit cop. That's the uniqueness of me being here. Because no other mayor understood the real deployment of peace police personnel like I do. And so you can't come to me if you're a police official and say you're just doing X. The mayor lamenting the subway policing policies of his predecessor, Bill de Blasio. For eight years, uh, it's my p belief that we have really restricted uh, these officers from doing their job. We're moving in a new, new direction. We are going to have officers do their job, not ignore quality of life issues, fair evasion. We were ignoring all of this in the past. We're not ignoring this anymore. The mayor spoke again about installing new subway weapons detection systems. He said they would be mobile and moved randomly from station to station. I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News.